Kelly Sutherland and Derek Denson. The referees for tonight's game. And immediately, the Islanders dump it into the Seattle zone to our right and get in on the forecheck. Quick change on D for the Islanders. Now the forward line starts to make some changes as well. Beauvillier unable to knock the puck loose. And the Krakener across the line. A centering feed knocked away from Yanni Gore. Would you agree? Absolutely. Uh, the, a lot of patience in this organization. Loose puck in front of the other to the goal. A jam up the net off the moorings. And play call. You know, the one thing they're trying to do is impress the general manager and the coach that they're, they're workers. The Islanders with the forward line of Lee, Barzell, and Bailey up there right now. Kraken trying to come up the left side. Here's Jared McCann over center ice. Everly with him on the left side. The pass broken up and the Islanders take over. A uh, good job on the back check by, by Matt Martin. Yeah, Adam Pellick's been a lot more aggressive over the last few games. And that's a good sign. He's a terrific skater. Fifth shot on goal for Seattle in this opening period. He plays hard, Jigs, and you know guys that play hard and are used to scoring. Uh, you know they feel the pressure. Back-to-back -back games. Probably didn't get much of a chance to celebrate his 31st birthday yesterday. And a look at Dave Haxtall back at that Seattle bench. 53-year-old. Sixth shot on goal for Seattle in this opening period. Good job by the Islanders there, as I said, in reacting to what was happening. Now Bailey steps out of the box as the goaltender, Berlamov, smothered the puck and held on. The two that we're watching here tonight, and there is a third. There's a little bit of trivia for you. Oh, now you're taking over trivia, huh? No, I'm just throwing it out. Eric Hornick's not here, and he's usually in trouble. Aiden Flurry played across ice, and the play was broken up. Doc Nelson waiting for some help. And through a screen, and a big stop made by Grubauer, his first major test of this opening period. Journeys towards the net. But good play by Brock Nelson. So good with the hand-eye coordination. Says, oh, well, guys are going to that. Let me throw it. Not sure if Giordano didn't give him a little two-hander there, Jiggs, rather than the puck. He will be. Right into the big New York Islander logo, the chest protector. And it's still Islanders nothing, Seattle nothing. Kraken trying to get set up. Everly feeds it to the line. Giordano with a shot. Stick save, and the rebound goes to the far corner. And Seattle comes up, beating it to Dunn at the left point. Cross ice, long shot, turned aside as Dunn. Moved it quickly for Lazan. Now the Islanders break through the center ice area. He's a goal scorer. I mean, I don't think anybody... Denies that fact that uh, he has the potential. He's a tremendous shot. Great release, right? Yeah, he really does. It's hard and, and he, you know, has a shooter's mentality. There's a shot off the far side right into the catching glove. A big wind up in the play by Winberg for Seattle. He did in keeping the shooting lane wide open for the goaltender of to, to be able to snag it. I mean, there's no one in front of the net. Look at that. I mean, you know. Yeah, Detroit took him in the first round of the 2010 draft. He was there for four years, Florida for a while. Then in Buffalo, signed there as a free agent. Seattle is a free agent, too. Ended up inside the Seattle zone. Quickly up the left side with a shot that is on target and turned aside by Barlama. Barzell had nobody to give it to, and here's a break. Barzell takes his man down. Well, the Kraken just cannot make it happen. That was Ryan Donato who had a man open for a moment but mishandled the puck and now the Islanders shorthanded for the second time tonight. And in their own zone at the moment, the Flurry brothers on defense, long shot doesn't get through, loose puck, nice sliding save by the goaltender Barlama. Crock and hand and good support here and there and Geeky's in front of the net and Shot towards the net, and that's Blackwell, and you can see the aggressive move by Barlamov and taken. Now Flurry from the right point, that's the younger of the two brothers, Kale, and his shot was blocked. Wallstrom over the line, left it for Pajot, centers, quick shot, one-timer is turned aside as Parise let it go. Speed and little three-on-three, three and shot from the point, little bounce here and there, so you can see the... Kraken all coming back rather slow. They look tired. Little drop pass. And Pajot finds Pajot. Parise hollow. That's a P&P. &P, but look what that shot is. It's a really good save. Don't get me wrong. But, but 
little game of one on one, and that, that that's not going to work all that often. Ryan Donato, he's in front of the net after the rebound, and it's cleared away. Good play by Donskoy there to let that shot go. Well, it's an opportunity for him to, to build on his career. Islanders won the opening draw, coming hard around the boards. And facing an expansion team, and here's Pajot moving in, shoots, big stop by Grubauer. Probably the best scoring chance the Islanders have had tonight. Harley gets a little chip pass and goes up the boards, and Wallstrom gets checked, but Pajot with good speed and creates a little opening, and then just kind of lost his angle a little bit. He knows he has to get to the outside, but then he doesn't have much to shoot at, and... They shoot it down into the Islander end to race for it. Pelic steps in front of his man. And that happens to be Johansson. And they score off the far side. Once again, the Islanders give up the first goal of the game, but not in the first minute of the contest. And it's just a, a chip and chase play and one on one down in the corner with Johansson and then Jordan Everly. And he's the one that's able to get the puck on the short side and Varlamov just can't react quick enough to get on the other side. You can see the pass out there, and then Varlamov just, he's not in position to be able to make that save, so it's Jordan Everly who makes a really good play in behind the net. The one way wide. The Islanders with a bit of a scramble in front, unable to regain control of the puck. This is Ryan Donato, cross-ice pass. They're on side, big drive, big rebound off Varlamov. Islanders. At center, Brock Nelson's cross ice pass is picked off. Still 11 and a half minutes remaining in regulation as Appleton turns here on the left wing boards. Put it to the blue line. A backhander, they score! 2 nothing Seattle as Vince Dunn took a perfect pass and beats Barlama. Yeah, uh, yeah, had the puck in the top of the blue line and just the seas parted for him and ended up going on the backhand. Not sure if Barlamov was screened or not to, to nothing and a little stop and go action as Appleton drops it back a little fake, fake pass and on the other he's definitely screwing screened as Gord was in front of him I don't think Barlamov ever saw the puck you can see him standing right in front doesn't pick it up quick enough and but his face only 16 shots and Dobson gave it up at the blue line here's a partial break Donato picks it up comes right in backhander up Barlamov. Uh, great save there by Barlamov. Just read him like an open book. Donato with a breakaway and kind of went off the end of his stick. Barry Trotz will talk it over with his team and then cross ice. Barzell looking for somebody to give it to. Fired toward the net. Pad save. Barzell reaching for it in the corner. Pajot turns it around the board. Wallstrom on right wing puts one in front under Grubauer and no further play. I was having one of those games where you, you don't you don't have to always see it. You just have to be in the right position. There he is. He starts to get away from the post. That's okay, Jake, as far as the Islander fans are concerned. Philip Grubauer has never shut out a New York Islanders team in his career. And he's about to. Yeah, the puck at center ice. And an empty net for a 3-0 Kraken victory. Appleton and very selfish play and a very smart play. Now it's kind of throwing some salt on the wound. Indeed. Final second ticks off. Appleton's fifth of the season into the empty net. Salts away a 3-0 victory.